Ask them. This is a setup. It's stupid. Decar corrupt. I'm sick of this shit. This what do you think my what life? What do you say about the sneakers? Go ask the girl. Look, they've stolen my stuff. Go ask the girl. What's up? What's up? What's up? And just like that, a woman appeared from the bushes, with Tristan asking the media to talk to that girl, talk to my victims. Let's watch the English section of the Tate brothers' victim talking to the media and discuss. The alleged Tate victims. Uh, yeah, I was listed as a victim and the court wants me to claim that I'm a victim even though I told them more than once that I'm not one. Tristan and Andrew were always very kind to me, they helped me many times and this is absurd. It's, it's unreal how far corruption can go when there is money involved and this is not normal. I really hope the justice will be made correctly and these men will get to live the life they deserve. To be honest, I'm feeling more of a victim of DCOT because they are uh, making me look like a human trafficking victim and I don't want to be pictured like that. It's not fair. Well, there you have it. Throw the case out. Well, not so fast. Let's take a look at when we've seen this before. Last year, when Andrew and Tristan Tate were in prison, two of the victims listed in the case, Yasmina and Beatrice, spoke out publicly, saying that they are not victims and the Tate brothers are great guys. I've never seen any of them being aggressive or rude. They've always respected, uh, respected people. They started from zero. Uh, they lived in a shelter with their mom and they had no food, they had no money. Ai fost amenințată? Nu, no. nu, no. n-am fost niciodată. Dacă eram amenințată, automat nu mai eram idiotă să stau în casa asta. Spuneau că uh, fetele care veneau la ei acasă erau intimidate de securitate cu arme. Eu mm. pot să spun că niciodată cei de la securitate n-au intimidat pe nimeni, nu au arme la vedere, nu sunt puși acolo să intimideze fete sau să întâmple alte lucruri. But it's written Tate. Yeah, it is. Why? I have lots of tattoos, different ones. The Harry Potter tattoo, the uh, moon and the sun. I have the mana stenga tatuage asta care scrie Tate girl. Pe da. care l-am făcut din respect pentru ei. Are you Tate's property? I'm no one's property. Suntem prieteni buni de 2 ani de zile, cam așa. Nu pot să mă treci pe mine ca și victimă, dar eu n-am spus că sunt o victimă. Other of Tate's cam girls spoke out during this time as well, including his former long-term girlfriend, Vivian. Forget about the fact that you like or dislike Andrew and Tristan Tate. Forget about the fact that if they had said something in those last two years that might have upset you or hurt you. Forget whether you agree or disagree with their views. Forget about it all. And now try and see it from a different perspective. Imagine if that was you. Imagine if, or it was your son, your brother, your father, or your close friend, whoever. Imagine if that was not them in the situation. How outraged would you be if this happened to them? How outraged would you be if your son got taken to jail while they have no evidence against him and he got now two months to be sitting in a jail? Because that's what's happening right now. They've been sitting there for 30 days in a jail with no evidence and they extended it for another 30 days. So imagine how outraged and mad would you be if this happened to your son or your brother. They're keeping him in there with no evidence and they're just extending the dates of the trial of the court because they have no evidence and this is just a massive massive violation against human rights imagine how mad and how outraged would you and your friend and your entire family be if to see this injustice now forget about the fact that it's injured just in day imagine if there was a different perspective how outraged and mad would you be now i don't understand just because they're so controversial, how people cannot see from that, past that point that they're controversial, how this is so unfair and is clearly a violation against human rights in the European Union. I don't understand how people are now mad and don't see this and are now outraged themselves. If this happens to them, I am worried this can happen to anyone at this point. It's important to note that since this video last year, Andrew has been charged with trafficking Vivian into pornography when she was a minor, and we have 100% verified that Tate had her producing pornography on webcam when she was a minor. She has been groomed by Andrew since she was at the oldest 14 or 15 years old. 
That aside, it sure is compelling that all these women came out in support of the Tates as they were in prison last year. That is, until you learn that Andrew was caught recorded on the jail phones instructing his cousin Luke to get these women to make these videos. There is even transcripts of these phone calls that are being used against Andrew in evidence. We can see in these transcripts Andrew saying, Yeah, get a new clip and tell her to say, I learned. I saw his case, I learned they just randomly picked from his friends. Say the same things as Yasmina, she's not a victim, but she can say the same things. Luke, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew, also asked Tash if she'll do one. We can see Andrew happy with the first lot of videos and giving Luke further instructions. Andrew, alright Luke, listen to me. Luke, yeah. There was just a news bulletin that sounded like it went well. They played the whole Yasmina clip. You need to make more videos with Yasmina and start reaching the media in Romania. Also, Vivian and the other girls need to make videos, saying that Decot tried to put pressure on them to make statements, but they didn't want to, they tried to frame the guys. Do you understand? We can even see Andrew directing the videos from jail. Make sure Yasmina and Betty look good all the time. No one cares what ugly girls say, they need to look good in all the clips. Don't let them get lazy and wake up in the morning and look like shit, because nobody cares about that. We can see Andrew arranging some of the women in his circle to retweet these videos, and even write to him in jail so it looks good. There's even more of Andrew playing Mr. Director, a super clip cut with dramatic music, and then put the clips of me going to court, the pictures of me in court, the pictures of me being led in handcuffs, like we used to on TikTok. Make it sound like a big emotional, it has to be emotional. Emotional orchestra, me going to jail, everyone saying it's a scam. Put it all over Rumble and YouTube. Get a new clip from Vivian. Tell her what to say, get a new clip from Vivian. So as you can see, we've seen these videos from victims in the Tate case before. And to say those videos last year were staged is somewhat of an understatement. And the video we've seen from outside the courthouse this week is no different. We can see from this clip from the day prior when the boys were called into DCOT headquarters to have their devices scanned, Tristan was preparing us for this performance from this young lady. Victim? What victim? I'm the victim. You, you are a... Yeah, yesterday you spoke to one of the victims. You found her outside court. What did she say? This is a set up. This is illegal. The boys are innocent. I'm not a victim. Keep talking to the girls. See what you find out. Ask, ask the victims. Yeah, you'll see them in court. Uh, they all said yes, of course they are. She told you to your face that this was a setup and a scam, and the prosecutors declared her eviction a victim mm -hmm. against her will. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, this. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to the girls when you see them go to court. They all said the same thing. It's a, it's a scam. It's an embarrassment for this country to treat rich foreigners this way. I mean, it really humiliates the country. Guys, please look around for victims in the case outside the courthouse tomorrow and ask them what they think. You can see a few days prior Tristan set this up very subtly and naturally. Then on the day that the Tates had a hearing in court, it was showtime. You can see this mysterious lady appear from the bushes. They didn't quite get the timing right and Tristan had to point back to where they had just walked, asking the journalists to go speak to that girl. Go ask the girl. Look, they've stolen my stuff. Go ask the girl. Go talk to the Then we can see a totally real journalist with a camera and microphone randomly ask her if she's one of the alleged Tate victims. The alleged Tate victims? Uh, yeah, I was listening. Because it totally makes sense for a journalist to walk up to a woman at random outside the courthouse, shove a microphone in her face, and ask if she's a victim in the case. We suspect that this so-called journalist is the Tate's cameraman and social media producer, Bailey. Have a listen to the journalist and Bailey back to back and tell me in the comments what you think. The alleged Tate victims. Uh, yeah. I'm a really good videographer, but I've made it because I'm really good at sales. Alleged Tate victims. I'm a really good videographer. Alleged Tate victims. I'm a really good videographer, but... When a Romanian journalist asked if she works for the Tates, she said that they just collaborated on social media. Adică, 
ce ai lucrat vreodată pentru ei. Nu, am colaborat pe partea de promovare pe social media. Okay. Da, nu au luat niciodată nimic de la mine, nu m-au This raised alarm bells for me since Andrew's embarrassing narrative is that the case is just about him helping some of his friends post on TikTok. Of course, the idea that this woman just collaborated with the Tates on social media is a proven lie. She can be found on Twitter advertising her OnlyFans, being retweeted by Coconut Kitty. This is significant because we know Coconut Kitty was a successful OnlyFans creator who worked with Tristan and we can see in the leaked war room group chat that Tristan would use Coconut Kitty's large Twitter account to retweet posts from his OnlyFans models. So I think we can pretty safely say that this video outside the courthouse was an embarrassing staged sham. It was met with ridicule. As a propaganda piece, it has been a raging failure. Earlier today, Tristan jumped on Twitter to cry about the failure of his propaganda, saying, we're all gonna crap our pants when the case is dismissed. He continued debunking the claim that no one is making that she's a hired actress. Just embarrassing stuff. There's a very good chance we will see more similar videos in the coming weeks. I would not be surprised if we see one from Vivian, who is now listed as a victim in the second case in Romania. One thing that's for sure is I can see why the Tates are getting desperate. Things are heating up. The appeal of the judge's decision to send them to trial is now less than a month away, on the 15th of October. After this, we should have a trial date. I'll be sure to keep you all posted on any updates in the case and any more shenanigans from the Clown Brothers. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss any updates.